Hey everyone, it's Rose, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some recent thrift finds. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. What? <laughs> Alright guys, so way back in the day, I used to be like obsessed with thrifting, going to thrift stores. Um, the Goodwills that were around my house um, up in Pennsylvania on Sundays, like a certain color tag was always like 49 cents or something. So I, my mom and I would go every Sunday and like go to town at Goodwill and basically like wardrobe me for life. Um, I'm trying to work on cutting back the amount of clothing that I have in my closet, but I love clothing so much. I love buying clothing so much. But I literally, I wear scrubs every day to work, so the amount of times I actually get to wear pieces of clothing that I buy is very few. It's not often that I'm like dressing up to go somewhere, dressing up. So I've been trying to cut back. Um, I haven't gone to a ton of thrift stores since I've moved to Florida over the last three years. Um, but I recently, in the town that I've moved to in Florida, have found like a Goodwill that I like that's big and there's not a ton of people there all the time. So it's nice to go and kind of browse. I've been, I got, I had a day off from work. So I went and I thrifted and this is my stuff. Not all of this is from Goodwill. There are some things from an app called Curtsy. This isn't sponsored, <laughs> obviously, but it's like Poshmark, but the shipping options for price are different. On Poshmark, everything is a set like $7.45 for shipping, which is like two items at Goodwill. So I have a hard time buying things from Poshmark now and justifying spending almost $8 on shipping, especially when I can go to a retail store online and get free shipping over X amount of dollars. Cause you're paying per shipping per piece that you buy on Poshmark if you're buying from different sellers. So on Curtsy, the prices for items are usually a lot lower and um, sometimes there's free shipping or like $4 shipping. So you're paying a lot less to get probably the same thing I could find on Poshmark. So if you've never heard of Curtsy, I would check it out. I'll, if I can link it, I'll link it in my description box. Um, this isn't sponsored, which it was. Curtsy, if you're interested, let me know. <laughs> So I also have some home decor stuff that I'll throw in at the end because I know people are probably more interested in clothing stuff. So for reference, I, I would consider myself mid-size. I'm like a 10-12 on the bottom and a medium or large on the top depending on the kind of shirt and if I want it to fit tight or not. I'm usually, I would describe my style as like casual, boho, sometimes edgy question mark. I really don't wear a ton of color as you can see by this lovely spread. It's usually, I'm usually wearing a white shirt and jeans is typically how it works out. But I like boho stuff. Um, but I also, from the time I was like in middle school, have always leaned towards edgier things. Like, and by edgier, I mean like leather jackets, all black, um, band tees, Etc. Um, I love me a leather jacket, but it's harder to wear them in Florida when it's perpetual summer. So since moving to Florida, the boho side of my fashion sense has really like kind of pushed through. Let's jump into it. This first top is from, oh, I bought some stuff from Mercari too. Just throwing that out there. Mercari is another thrifting app, secondhand app on the phone. Anyway. This might have been from Mercari. This is an American Eagle shirt. Um, this right here is like my quintessential shirt that I would love to be able to wear just every day, like cartoon character uniform, just wear this shirt every day. Did I buy this in three colors? Absolutely. Am I gonna show you all three of them? No, but here's one of them. This is probably my favorite one. It's like a sage green color, um, you know, puffy sleeves, crop top with like the little frill around the waist, like peplum. Um, detailing and it's a tie front and I did that trick from Pinterest, TikTok, wherever you find it, where you have the, I'll, I'll just do it. <laughs> the reason I like tops like this is because you can kind of see my tattoo that's a key popping through. Um, so anyway, you tuck one up through the bottom, one of the ties down through, and then tie it in the front and that way 
you're not flashing your bra to people from the top coming undone. It's hard to do not in a mirror. Did I do this right? Yes, okay. So I tie it in a knot and then these ones I tie in a bow. I have another shirt like this from American Eagle. It's a different style, but still a tie up in the front that I leave the strings longer for. But yeah, so that way you're, you're not, your bra isn't showing um, and the shirt's not going anywhere. So that is this top. I bought it in black and white also because I'm extra like that. But yeah, quintessential. If Rose could wear a shirt every day, this would be the shirt I was wearing. I like that you can see the tattoo peeking through and that it's a crop top and I can wear it with jeans and it looks like I put in effort when really I just threw on a shirt, so. Um, we'll just go down the line here. This next shirt is just a, oh, this shirt probably cost me like $10. Anywhere from 10 to 13 is probably what I spent on this. So this shirt is from Goodwill. This was $4.19. It's a waffle fabric top. Um, I love thermal tops like this and I've never seen a short sleeve version of it. I'm for sure gonna crop this and wear it like as an oversized crop waffle shirt. This is a size large. The brand is Cherokee, which is a scrub brand like for for medical scrubs. So I don't know if this is like an undershirt for scrubs or what this is, but yeah, so I'll try this on. All right, so here is the shirt, but I would for sure crop this to fit like a boxy crop shirt like that, maybe tuck it in in the front, however. And I would probably undo these depending on how it looks, we'll see but I would like have it lay like that or something. But yeah, I feel like this is also something American Eagle would sell th through like Airy or something. Um, I'm learning that American Eagle is really the place to get like the flowy boho tops that I'm looking for, for like a relatively cheaper price, especially on apps like Curtsy or Poshmark. But anyway, so this is this shirt. The next shirt is another American Eagle shirt. This is like, I don't know that this is fully long sleeve. It may be three quarter sleeve. It has a bell sleeve and then like this tie up detail in the front, like almost like a corseted front. And then this flower embroid embroidery. <laughs> is that how you say that? Embroidery down the front of it. Boho, cute, crop top, everything that I'm looking for in a top. This is a size medium. And I think I got this for $13 on curtsy. So let me try this on for you guys. Okay, so this is the top. I gotta figure out how to tie this up in a way that like looks halfway decent and purposeful, but I really like this bell sleeve actually. I feel like this is the first time I've ever worn a bell sleeve top maybe, but I like the length of this. I don't feel like I have to tug it in to make it look the way that I want it to look. Um, here's the tie up in the front. I, I like that detail. Yeah, so this is what this looks like. Couldn't ask for a better shirt for me, to be honest. It's nice and flowy and comfortable. It's like um almost a linen material, so super light. So I could probably get away with wearing this right now. It's 90 something degrees today in Florida, but I feel like it's loose enough and flowy enough that I wouldn't be sweating, so. Next shirt up here is by Morona. It's a size large. It's like a seamless, style shirt so it doesn't have like the seaming on the side. Um, this was from Goodwill, $3.59. Um, the reason I picked this up is because I like high neck tank tops like this, but I also was looking for something that is like going to be form fitting like a bodysuit, but isn't a bodysuit because I hate trying to button up a bodysuit after I've gone to the bathroom because typically me getting in and out of a bodysuit, I'm sliding it on like I would slide on a swimsuit. Like I'm not undoing them. So like trying to go to the bathroom, like out at bars or something, undoing those and then trying to redo them, not gonna happen. But I also don't wanna get fully naked in the bathroom and just slip it on and off like a swimsuit. So try to find something that'll be form fitting, but I can just tuck it in and it'll look decent instead of like bulging over the top of my pants. And this is like a super stretchy material. Let me see if I can. So 
Anyway, let's try this on. I'm probably gonna get my makeup all over it. Okay, so here's the top not tucked in. Definitely not how I would wear it. I could always just do one of the under the bra tucks and leave it like that, which is probably more comfortable anyway. Um, ignore the black bra. Probably shouldn't have worn this bra for this. I like it. I like that it's not super thin strap so I can wear an actual bra with this because a lot of times strapless bras are just not as flattering on me um, because I have a bigger chest um, for my size anyway. So yeah, I think this is like everything I was looking for. It's form fitting, but it's comfortable. It's not like, like squeezing me into the point that my stomach hurts. You know what I mean? It's not like Spanx. So yeah, this is basically exactly what I was looking for. I could tuck this in, but I also don't think it looks bad tucked up under my bra like that. So next top. Also recently become obsessed with tops like this. So tops that look like a tube top, but they have the little straps on them. This obviously I would need a strapless bra for, um, but it's like um, rouged or I don't know. I want to say seersucker, but I feel like that's not what this is called where it's like super elastic -y, stretchy the whole way around. It has like a nice little daisy print, which daisies and sunflowers I'm like obsessed with. So let's, has a little frill down at the bottom. This is from the brand Patrons of Peace. It's a size large. I got this at Goodwill for $3.59. Um, so yeah, let's try this on. Okay, so this is this top. These straps are adjustable, so I need to adjust them so they're actually form-fitting because they're too long right now. Um, but again, this is like a nice form-fitting shirt that's cropped um, that isn't too tight where I feel like I'm suffocating. So always a win. I also don't feel like it looks horrible with my black bra. Um, so maybe I could get away with that. Eh, the back, not so much. All right, so I'm going to have to wear a strapless with this. But it's like tight enough too that I think it's gonna help with support so that I'm not like everywhere when I have this on with a strapless bra. So yeah, that's what this looks like. I also like that it has like the little bunching right here on the chest so it's not just like Uno boo. It's, you know, defining or adding a little bit of something there. If you can see that on the camera. Anyway, all right, this next shirt is another American Eagle shirt size medium, puff sleeves, peplum type wrap top. This was from, I want to say Mercari or Curtsy for probably $12. You are spending more when you're on these apps, but you're also able to sit down at your house and look for specific brands that you want or specific colors that you want. So, you know, the shopping experience is a little more user-friendly than going into a thrift store and hunting and hunting and hunting. So you are spending a little bit more. This is like a satiny almost material. I'm sure it's not actual satin, um, but this was kind of like a wild card. I don't know how much I'll actually wear this. It's more of like a dressier top because if you can see, it has kind of like a sheen to it. Um, and these sleeves are like outrageous. We'll give it a try and see. That's the other nice thing about shopping secondhand or, th or going to the thrift store is you can tr be a little more experimental with stuff. And if you don't like it, you are out a ton of money. So anyway, let's give this a try. All right, so here is the wrap top. It does have a hook and eye closure right here. So if I feel like it's pulling, I could always undo that a little bit and like let the girls be free. Yeah, it's cute. I like, I actually like the way the sleeves look. Um, I feel like they're sliding down a little bit, but I don't hate this. It's definitely more dressy than I typically go for, but it's still like, in my comfort zone. I feel like this is kind of boho with the crop top. It's like the perfect length. And peplum is always super flattering, so can't go wrong. Okay, next is like a turtleneck, mop neck tank top, which recently on my Pinterest, I've been pinning a ton of these. And when I found it, I was like, perfect. In a color I love, it's like a nice light knit fabric. Um, this is by Croft and Borrow, which I'm pretty sure is like an old person brand, but that's fine. Size large. This is from Goodwill for $4.19. I am going to be making a video 
recreating Pinterest outfits with the stuff in my closet, so this will probably make an appearance. But yeah, let's try this on. For sure, makeup's getting all over this, for sure. Okay, so here's this shirt. This turtleneck is like perfect because it's not too tight. I hate stuff touching my neck, so it's like loose enough. And I also don't feel like it's up so high that I want to like rip it off of me. You can also see I for sure got makeup on it. But anyway, again, a tank top, but like thick enough straps that I can wear an actual bra with it. Again, black bra was a bad idea for this video, but this is one that I probably would also do the tucking it under my bra hack to have it cropped or tuck it into my pants. But this is like the uh, what I was talking about, like with a shirt that's loose enough that when you tuck it in, like bubbles over and that's not always the look that I'm going for. So anyway, I like this. This is a good Florida fall shirt because I can still, it's like fall aesthetic, but without sleeves <laughs> because it's still hot in the fall here in Florida. So this is the shirt again. Yeah, I would probably tuck it in my pants or under my bra. I don't think I'll crop it in case I want it like different lengths for different outfits, but yeah, this is the shirt. Two thumbs up. Four dollars, can't beat it. So last shirt is like a collared short sleeve button up shirt. This is something I saw and I was like need it because I have a shirt I pinned on my Pinterest with like basically unbuttoned to like here and you wear a bralette underneath it. And I was like, need it, want it, gotta have that look. And I found this and I was super excited because I have button, like collared button shirts like that are short sleeve like this, but they're more structured than this. This one's like super loose and flowy and obviously wrinkled AF and I need to iron it or steam it or something. But it's in like a charcoal gray color. Um, the tag has been ripped out, so I can't tell you a brand or a size. Yeah, yeah, no no tags in this. But um, I got it for $4.19 at Goodwill and I'm super excited about styling this up like I had, like I had seen on Pinterest, so. Okay, so here's the shirt. It's definitely gonna look and fit better when I have it steamed and there isn't wrinkles everywhere, but I would just tuck this in in the front. And if I had the bralette on, I would basically unbutton it to like down here and let it kind of open up a little bit and let the bralette show through, which is the goal when I actually style this to wear out. Um, I love, I think these are dolman sleeves. I love sleeves like this. I love having more room. This fabric feels really nice and like flowy and loose. And again, something I could wear in Florida year round because it's gonna be breathable and like light and airy. So love that. This was like, I was so excited about this shirt when I saw it. Cause I'm like, I, cause I had was literally on a hunt for a shirt like this because I had just pinned that pin on Pinterest and I was like, need it, want it, gotta have it. So super excited about this. Next is purses. Something I am obsessed with buying at the thrift store. I don't know why I like purses so much. Cause I buy a purse and wear it <laughs> forever instead of like rotating through them. So why do I need so many purses? But like my mom and I would like be on the hunt for like designer bags, like coach. I found a Rebecca Minkoff bag for $15 at Goodwill once. It's probably like my most proud um, thrift find ever. Like love that purse, still have it to this day. But I found this brown um, like hobo bag shaped fringy, I think it's probably faux suede bag. And I was like, oh my God, need it. Um, I like how there isn't any buckles on the straps. It's just like a tied piece of suede and then it's crossbody. I love a crossbody bag. Obviously I'm obsessed with this like hobo shape on purses. Um, I got that one at Target in clearing section, but this one is thrifted. This was like $8 at Goodwill. Love it so much. Can hold so much while still looking so cute. And then the last one, another thing I'm obsessed with currently is crochet bags. If you look them up on, on Pinterest or ThreadUp or anywhere online and you find them, they're expensive. They're like 20 some dollars and I'm not willing to spend 20 some dollars on a purse. 
but I found this one at Goodwill, crocheted. It's by The Sack, which I believe is a good brand because that's every time I look up crocheted purses, The Sack is the brand that pops up and they're always expensive. But it's a little shoulder bag. And I feel like these are also very much back in because it kind of reminds me of like the Y2K purses. I mean, it's not that small. It's not like a baguette bag, but I feel like these are more trendy right now and it holds a ton of stuff. This is the bag I'm carrying right now. So love it. Really excited about this. This was like three to $4 at Goodwill. All right, last thing clothing related is I found some vans, some high top vans, $15 at Goodwill. I've been on the hunt for some high tops tossed up i was tossing around the idea of vans or converse i was on pinterest i was on curtsy and every time i find a pair they're like 20 to 30 dollars if not more and i just wasn't willing to spend that much plus shipping for a shoe that i don't know that i'm gonna love i have never really been into high top sneakers but i've been painting a lot of stuff with high tops i don't know i just i wanted to give high top vans a try i wish they were platform but they're not i'll survive I put new laces on them because one of them was missing a shoelace and the other ones were like super stained like a black almost so i bought new shoelaces you can get those at the dollar store yeah i'm not gonna try them on they fit i don't know that i love the high top but i'm when i try them on i try them on with jeans and i feel like your jeans have to be the right length with high tops and i don't know that i have any jeans that are the right length but I could wear this with like, I have a bunch of t-shirt dresses. I feel like I could wear these with t-shirt dresses and make it look really cool, but I'll keep you posted. I'm gonna, I think in the, in the styling Pinterest outfits, I'm gonna try to rock these at least once. So you'll get to see them. But I was really excited about these vans for $15 in my size in like pretty decent condition. And the new laces obviously make them look a lot better. So yeah, I was excited about these. All right, so the last three pieces are home decor items. Um, I've recently been getting more into home decor stuff and trying to just decorate around the house. Something I don't feel that I'm great at is like decorating a room, but we'll get there. But these were three things that I saw and I was like, yeah, I need these. So first one being this like serving tray dish thing. <laughs> with, I want to call them sunflowers, but they're probably daisies. I don't know. They look like sunflowers to me, but I love sunflowers again. So had to, had to pick this up, but the cool thing, it kind of reminds me of like a painter's like palette. Cause you can like put your hand, your thumb through here and like grip down here and then like hors d'oeuvre. You're at your party. Hors d'oeuvre, sir. Hors d'oeuvre. Anyway, <laughs> this was $2.99. Can't beat it. It's like engraved at the bottom here, but I don't know what any of that means. Um, so yeah, I was like super excited about this. This will probably go like in my china cabinet because I'm an old person or like as the centerpiece in my dining room table. I don't know, we'll see. Next is this vase that I found. It's like a green color, but it's like super textured and it has some like beige in like the little ridges. Um, love the shape of it. I felt like it was very trendy and like for a while did you see like those people doing the DIYs where they would like paint bases with like the baking soda paint to make it look textured and stuff. It like reminded me of those, but I love the shape of this. I think I'm going to put eucalyptus in it or um, maybe a sunflower, I don't know, and then put it on a shelf somewhere. This was $3.99. Love it. Can beat it. And then the last piece is this pitcher. We have one plastic pitcher that isn't very fancy. So like if I have a party and I'm like serving drinks, I could put it in this or I could just turn this into a vase and put some flowers in it. Um, I don't know that this is crystal, but it has like that crystal glass shape to it. Like if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know, it doesn't sound like crystal, so. This was $2.99 again at Goodwill. You can't beat it. You just, you just can't beat it. But I thought this was really, really nice. So I was like, yeah, I need to take that home with me. So yeah. All right, so that is everything from my Goodwill, Curtsy, and Mercari haul. Um, I love thrifting so much. I'm getting back into it now that like the COVID restrictions are lifting 
and now that I'm part-time and actually working part-time hours I have a little more free time to go do these things during the day it's nice to be able to go in the morning like when they first open so there's not a ton of people there um so anyway if you guys have anything you want me to specifically try to thrift or like themed thrifting challenges or videos you want to see please let me know um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're interested in seeing more from me please subscribe i always leave my twitter link down below so you can follow me over there if you want thank you again for watching and i will see you in the next one